Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. On this channel I do first impressions and unboxings of mainly folding knives, but we'll do some fixed blades as well, some multi-tools, so you may see those pop up every now and then. I will also review all kinds of folding knives, everything from lower end, budget, gas station, Bud K knives kind of things, all the way up to more of the higher end. I am collecting more of the higher end now and slowly phasing out more of those gas station knives as I step up my collecting stuff there. But will, if I come across them, I will do a review on them. I will have an upcoming video of, I have probably about 20 different lower, very budget, kind of like Bud K gas station knives. I will include all in one video. I'm not going to give full specs on every one, but just open up, kind of show you different knives there. So definitely look out for that video. But today, more of a higher end knife for you. I have the Real Steel Rocket number 7641. Right now, it is, I didn't see it on Blade HQ, but it is on Knife Center for $77 on sale right now. So definitely look out for that. Let's go ahead and get this opened up. Definitely like the boxes that the Real Steel Knives come in. It's a thicker cardboard, so definitely nice. This is going to be some of your welcome information on the new knife. It's going to have some different languages here. Then their knives do come folded in a cloth, which is nice to have. You can never have too many of these. So let's get this all opened up. And then on the cleaning cloth itself, it does have, if, you can, if I get the light to catch it, real still logo on there. And this is the knife itself. Not too heavy at all. Definitely nice, very slim, sleek looking there. It is going to be a front flipper as well as a thumb stud or nail flicker. The nail flicker part on it, my fingers are too big for it. It's, I can't do it with the nail flick. Thumb stud I can do though too. Does definitely come right out. Has some good action behind it. For a front flipper, this has great action. I'm not, as you can see, I'm not great with front flippers. Still getting used to them. It does open quite nice. Definitely a nice looking knife here. Let's see. As you see here, it is right hand carry. Sorry, it can be right or left hand carry. And it's going to be a tip up carry and it is on a liner lock. So the just some of the specs and information on it. The rocket has three opening mechanisms, like I said, the front flipper, dual thumb studs on each side, and the nail groove. If you have smaller fingers, the nail groove will work a lot better. But for me, my fingers aren't huge at all, but definitely have a hard time getting your nail in there on that one. The blade is made of Bowler 9, sorry, Bowler N690 stainless steel, a step up from D2. And Real Steel has been using a lot of the, a lot of that steel in their more tactical knives for a little while now. The handle dots and dashes are intended to spell out the name of the designer in Morse code, which is actually kind of cool. If you see that, you can see the Morse code right there. I don't know any more Morse code, so I don't know if that's actually true or not. But if you are able to look it up, definitely that would be kind of interesting. The pocket clip is reversible to serve on both sides of the knife, which again offers a lot of versatility for those left hand carriers out there as well. It's definitely a very versatile knife. They put a lot of thought into this for definitely right and left hand carry people as well as people that like front flippers, thumb studs, or the nail grooves as well. So it definitely suits a lot of categories there. The blade length on this knife is going to be 3.74 inches. The cutting edge is going to be 3.74 inches. 
the closed length of the knife is going to be 4.53 inches. It's definitely a little bit longer, but not too bad at all. This is going to be a deep carry. So you're not going to get any of that knife showing at all. You might be able to put a small little lanyard in there, but the hole isn't very big to put it in. So you might need to do a custom one there. And it has the black spacer. Knife. There you go. And then the blade finish is going to be that satin finish. So definitely very shiny, but definitely a nice knife. It is comfortable. The jimping right here makes it so your fingers don't slip. Very comfortable in your hand. I will put this to some use, so you may see a more in-depth review video later on. So definitely look out for this. So far, I would highly recommend this knife. It's definitely versatile for everybody as well. The only thing that's missing is that back flipper, but with this knife, even if you're not that good at front flipping a knife, it still does really well. Very smooth actioning on here. Detent is great. Thumb stud is amazing on this knife. It does just fly right open. This is going to be a manual opener. This is a China knife, so definitely still budget, but not too budget. So I'll put a link to the Knife Center ad in the description below. So definitely look for that if you're interested. I would recommend shopping around to believe this one may have came off eBay. Not completely sure where I got this one. Highly recommend it though. I do like it. So definitely check it out for yourself. I know there are some other videos out there too on the knife. So definitely look those up. Otherwise, if you have any comments, feel free to comment down below. Any questions, any knives you may want to see. Like I said, I do review everything from gas station knives all the way up to more higher-end knives like Kaiser's, Benchmade, things like that. So definitely look out there. If you would like to subscribe to the channel, please do. I try to get out a couple videos a week. And then hit the notification bell to be notified of future videos as soon as they hit. Thank you, and I hope you have a safe holiday.